Warmer weather means more pets and people will be outdoors. Some are just around the corner. There are a few things you need to know to keep your dog safe. Here with some tips is David Heenan from the New Haven Animal Shelter and the University of Pets Dog Training. And he has with him Tux. This is Tux. Tux, can you look? Hi, sweetie. There you go. Good oh, boy. Well, now he's happy. You got a treat. <laughs> Tux is wearing uh, Dougals for if he's Dougals? out. Dougals? Dougals. Dog goggles. Doggle goggles. <laughs> Dougals. If they are um, outside putting their head out the window at a low speed, never want to have them out the window with a high speed. It's going to protect his eyes from any kind of debris. Um, so that's something that you want to definitely. Because dogs love to put their head out the car. Oh my window. God. Uh, and the, another thing you, you want to consider is never have them in the front seat because oh, right. the airbags could deploy. Okay. Um, so you always want to keep them cool. Another thing that you always want to make sure that you do is never ever leave them in the car unattended mm -hmm. in the summer. Cars can exceed over 200 degrees. Oh, okay. So you're, even if you have the windows down, windows down, air conditioning, even if you're going to be in there for just a couple seconds, mm -hmm. never leave them in the car unattended. Okay. Um, main thing is you want to keep them cool. There's so many items out there that will keep them cool. There's um, some just drinking bottles. Here's a bandana that uh, you can put some ice in. Oh, I know you're getting fidgety. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So if you're out on a hike or something, you can. You can put ice in the band. Uh huh, and it keeps them cool. Oh, nice. Um, and they have some great water um, toys so that they will float and they're not going to go down and sink. Um, Kong makes some great toys. Here's a bed that will actually keep them cool. Um, oh, that's a great idea. My dogs always want to be on the floor. Uh huh. You know, they try and get on the tiles because yep. it's a little bit cooler. Yep. And this doesn't need any electricity. It's just, uh, you know, ice cubes and cold water. And that's a great idea. Also a uh, safety belt. Um, another thing that you want to be careful of. This is of, a safety belt for the for, for the, back the back seat. seat. Right. Okay. Right. This is also good because it keeps the dog in one place when you're driving. So yeah, they're, you're not, not they're not climbing over the front. They're not trying to get Exactly. Okay. Another thing that you want to think of, about is just it, it, maybe it's in the best interest for the dog just to stay at home. Um, you know, if you're going to go to a picnic. Uh, there are certain plants that are toxic to dogs that you don't know that are going to be there okay. and they're going to get a hold of some food um, and fireworks, you know, yeah. so yeah. so maybe the dog is better left at home with a nice cool place, maybe mm -hmm. some Kong with, with some ice cubes in it. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's certain things I know, I know. Uh, Tux is going to need a little bit of training and okay. with all dogs that got, get adopted from the New Haven Animal Shelter, University of Pets gives them a free in-home training Great. as well as they can attend my classes in um, in North Haven at Choice Pets. And tell us very quickly a little bit about Tux. Tux is 11 month old Border Collie uh, Lab Mix. Nice, so, so very smart but very friendly. And very energetic. And very, so somebody who, somebody who can give the dog exercise. Exactly. And this is a, it looks like a flotation device? This is a flotation device. Don't assume that your dog knows how to swim. Huh. Even if your dog knows how to swim, you know, us, sometimes we get in the water, we, we lose uh, our, our breath very easily. Yep. So this is great to have on them if they're on the boat yep. and anywhere a lar around large water. Okay. And speaking of uh, water, if your dog is in the Long Island Sound, yep. they if they drink the water, they're going to get diarrhea. Did oh, I mention right. to you that I have a St. Bernard that possibly drank oh, salt water? Oh, no, that's not Yes, good. that was not fun. Okay. So, um, and they should always, if they do drink outside, they should drink water that um, is running, that is not stagnant. Okay. Because it can have bacteria in it. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much for running out of time, David. I'm oh, sorry about that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, you're welcome. Anyone who's interested in tux, of course, can go to the New Haven Animal Shelter. You can also go to our website, WTNH. Dot com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.